welcome to this new video. Um, I've decided to start and make a series about K-pop. I wanted to talk about why we love K-pop, tattoos uh, for K-pop idols, think about um, packaging and reviews from albums and stuff I ordered online. Also, I really wanted to make a few videos about underrated K-pop groups that deserve, in my opinion, a lot more love uh, as they are getting right now. So, welcome <laughs> to Esme's K-pop Dungeon. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys will enjoy it. Also, yes, it's fully Monster X over here right now. Um, if you didn't see my Monster X concert uh, video, I will put the link down below. So don't forget to check it out because it's yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with how the uh, content turned out. So today I really wanted to talk about K-pop and uh, the reason we love K-pop so much. So maybe you can see yourself in the things I'm gonna say, or maybe just not. Uh, it's just. I get the question a lot why I love K-pop and people don't seem to understand it and I get it so I thought why not make a video and it's gonna be the first one I'm gonna upload from this series. I'm a bit nervous as you probably can tell but yeah we will see how it goes and we'll see uh, how you guys think about it. So please take a seat and let's get into this video. When I started to listen to K-pop I think I was through I'm not sure about it. It's been a long while. Um, the first group I listened to was Big Bang and I really love Big Bang, still do. Um, but yeah, I feel a bit weird since the Burning Sun thing happened and I'm not sure what to think about it. So I'm keeping them on a low pit right now. So it's, yeah, it, it, it still kind of upsets me. I mean, they were like my first K-pop group I've been listening to and yeah, I'm, I'm curious about what's gonna happen now. Um, but yeah, after that, I think I've listened to a few songs of them, but not like as much as I'm listening to K-pop right now. So I really loved Haru Haru and I really loved a few other songs, which I can't get right now in my mind. But I love their music and I love G-Dragon, I mean, his solo stuff is amazing, I love it. Um, but yeah, last year I started to listen more to K-pop, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I started with BDS then. I love their music, I really do, but at the moment I'm not listening to them anymore. Um, I think the reason is that I discovered other groups which are more my kind of music um, so yeah that's yeah they, they faded on me I still love Taeyang I mean he's like my yeah I have so much respect for the guy but I don't listen to the music anymore uh, because I think I started to listen to the music in I, I, I can't even remember like this is terrible I think somewhere last year uh, and I think in the beginning of the year. And then I discovered God7, which are over there. <laughs> and they are my, or one of my ultimate groups. I really love God7. I don't only love them for their music. I love their characters. I love how they are in shows, in showcases. And it's, uh, yeah, yeah, well. After uh, GOT7 I started to look into more groups because I felt like, okay, if I like this group, um, maybe there are more. And then I found out these guys here, the Monster X. <laughs> I love them too. Uh, I've got to say, I have like a top five of groups I'm really into. Maybe six, I think six. I'm not sure anymore. I mean, like I, I love too much at this moment, but I love GOT7, Monster X, Seventeen, one is and my I think my fifth place goes to SF9 at this moment. Thank you for that list. <laughs> she was like, oh, you need to listen to their music. And I was like, ah, I don't know. I have already so many groups that I like. And yeah, 
I'm really deep down in this hole right now. But it's okay, I love their music. Um, but yeah, the reason I love K-pop as much as I do right now is because I think it's more than music. It's such a big community all over the world. I mean, you have like all these kinds of different apps which are make or are giving you the possibility to meet people who love the same groups, things as Amino, V Life. Um, what do we have more? Yeah, there are a few more, but those are the two I'm like using a lot. Um, so I think I started to use the Monster X Amino, the Monbebe Amino, I think. When did I start it? Oh my god, I think this year, I think in January, somewhere. And I met this awesome group of people which are probably watching this video right now. So, hey guys. <laughs> um, and it was it was weird. I mean, we were we are living all over the world and I speak to them more as that I'm speak to my real life friends which sounds weird because they are kind of my real life friends but it's it's weird to like explain i don't know but yeah i speak to them still and a lot and i love them all and we have like a lot of fun and we i think because a lot of people still don't understand k-pop it's more in to meet people who understand what you're going through so yeah I, I, I shared a lot of things with them and we're really close and I met four four people at the Mon Stakes concert which was freaking awesome Satu if you're watching come back to Amsterdam <laughs> thank you <laughs> but yeah I, I loved it and I think because we are sharing like this huge love for the same guys and I mean we're all multi stands which I'm also gonna make like a video of but we we share that love and it's different I mean if I'm talking to people I know in real life and they don't understand it they are like eh, yeah but you don't understand the music and you cannot understand what they are saying what's fun about that and I'm like no it's it's more it's it's not only the music it's all the showcases they do it's all the music shows they do the live streams they are doing all the stuff on twitter instagram and all the other social media k-pop is so much more than just music and i think in my opinion that's the reason why people nowadays are in love with it not only are they talking and i mean talking but mostly singing and rapping about stuff and things other artists are not even looking at but yeah i think i think k-pop brings people together i mean i'm not like the typical uh cute girl <laughs> okay this is very good to say but i think you guys get what i'm what i'm with what i tried to explain but i'm fully covered in tattoos and at the concert I don't feel like an outcast. Everyone is so nice and every time we're going to concert we're meeting new people and it's like it's different. I mean if you're going to like a normal concert you're just standing in line and that's it but when you're going to a k-pop concert you will be like sitting there with the music and people are singing and dancing along and it's so much fun and I'm really thankful for everyone I met through concert show guys if you are watching I love you guys really much I'm thankful for you guys and I hope to see you guys soon at another concert I'm not sure which one uh, because we're still waiting at the got seven information so it's that's something I'm pretty nervous about, but as the thing I wanted to say is that I get why some people don't understand we love K-pop this much. Oh, my dog is barking, sorry for that. But <laughs> I'm proud and I'm thankful and I'm really grateful for all the people I've met 
through K-pop. So um, if you want to go to one of those concerts and you don't have someone to go with, because I wanted to go last year, but I didn't know anybody who wanted to like join me. So I didn't go and I feel sad about it right now. Because if you want to go, just go. Even if you go alone, you will meet a lot of people there. Everyone is there with the same purpose. Everyone is there with the same love for the group you're going to. So I really encourage you to go alone if you really want to go. Well, this was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please put your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And um, yeah, uh, stay tuned for more K-pop dungeon <laughs> videos. Um, I really want to th talk about tattoos in the K-pop industry. I also really want to talk about underrated groups. So if you know an underrated group and you're like, Esme, you really need to check them out and make a video about it, please put their names down below and I will check them out and maybe, maybe I will put them up in a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.